in this lecture hello friends in this lecture we will learn about reentrant lock okay so last time we learnt about a lock how to implement your own lock in java using synchronized keyword and this lock is used for controlling synchronization okay so we need to control access to the critical section okay so control access to critical section of code and for that we developed our own lock okay so what it does that if there is a critical section of code and multiple threads are trying to access it only one thread at a time can access it and only there will be no interleaving between the synchronized methods or blocks but what happens so one thread got the lock and only when it unlock that lock other threads were allowed to go into the critical section so let's see what we implemented in the last class so it was a class my lock okay so my lock was there and this was a simple thing so my lock there was a boolean variable is locked is it locked now that okay no other threads can go there was a boolean variable there was a synchronized lock method so is locked if a thread comes it calls lock dot lock okay so it tries to lock that and then if it is locked this boolean variable is true then it means now what if it's locked is true so it is now waiting waiting till other thread is done with the mutual or critical section and it notifies so it waits end here and now it can lock that lock and say that is locked is true okay and we had an unlock where is locked becomes false now and it notifies all other thread that okay you can also now go there so this works very fine but there was one problem and what was that that let's say a thread starts working okay a thread t1 is there it says that okay lock it acquires the lock okay then executes mutual exclusion but again and then there is a code for on lock but inside again let's say it tries another method it calls where again it tries to lock acquire the lock again okay so what happens again it goes and because the same thread has now it has locked so now is locked is true so is locked it's true so it will be waiting and it, it waits till another thread what it does unlocked calls unlock and now is locked become false and it is notified so that the wait ends but here what happened because the same thread has locked it and again it is trying to acquire lock so this thread will never call it is waiting here so this unlock will never be called and it will keep on waiting so it's also a kind of locking because it is now just waiting and nothing will happen so we ran this code yesterday so let's try to just recap it so we ran this so use my lock was there we try to run it and let's see the method which was there so reentrant code so there was the code my lock is there and it is a my lock which doesn't take care of this reentrance so we enter we acquire the lock the thread acquires it then it reenters it calls the reenter method without unlocking now it goes in re enter and again tries to acquire a lock and you see that inside enter method try to acquire lock okay and this is the main thread inside enter method it acquired the first lock in the enter method now in the re enter method it tries to acquire the lock 
and because this no one is going to now notify okay so this will keep on waiting forever so what is the solution the solution is simple okay so let's try to see the solution when in this code what happened we have to modify our lock that is clear isn't it so we need to modify our lock and what is the problem now we can understand while is locked so we are checking is it locked the lock but when a thread itself is re-entering and trying to acquire a lock which itself has acquired so then it should not it should also check that okay is the lock already acquired my b then it should not wait okay so this condition needs to change is it locked and is the lock taken by you only if it is taken by you that lock then you can proceed but if it is locked and it is taken by some other person then you cannot proceed so that is the main idea so here we will have is it locked and it should be not locked by you so something like I should ask question locked by me so is it equal to true so this should not be equal to true while is locked is true and it is not locked by me if it is locked by me then I can enter okay so that is the case and what else can happen but now you say that it is locked by me so I can re-enter the code again so I can have like here I had an enter class where I take l dot lock again I go to re-enter and again I try to acquire here I call re-enter method I call it here again I try to acquire lock so what happens I'm taking the lock again so when I will now let's say I am L dot unlock here I will call because for all lock you have to apply unlock. So if I now apply unlock so again here now also even if here it is unlocked the place from where I called it it should not unlock completely because here also there was a lock. So I should maintain so what will happen let's see so here unlock I did but here let's say in enter after calling re-enter I had some more critical section work and then I was doing l dot unlock so this is important that you don't unlock that lock before this last unlock is called okay so we should also have a count variable which keeps that okay how many times we are re-entering the lock and the number of times we are re-entering that many number of times we have to unlock also so for really to unlock that lock okay so that are the two things that we need to keep in mind let's try to see our new re-entrant lock so this is the new re-entrant lock okay so this is the re-entrant lock that we have let's try to see our re-entrant lock so we maintain several variables now is locked same as previous is the lock locked is it already taken by someone and some thread is already working in critical section this answers this boolean variables answers that question thread locked by so now we also take care of which thread has, thread has got the lock because if other thread has got the lock I will not go but, but if the lock is acquired by myself I can again acquire that lock okay re-entrance then the lock count okay how many times I have acquired that many times only I have to unlock it so that it is really unlocked so these are the things happening here lock it is synchronized method now we say thread calling thread which thread is trying to acquire that lock we get here so why is it locked so is it locked and that lock should not be by myself so locked by calling thread so it should not be myself then only I will wait if it is locked by myself 
I can proceed and do just the lock count plus plus and is lock true. Okay. So what happens if it is locked and it is not locked by me? I should wait that okay. So I am a thread T1 trying to acquire lock. Some thread T2 had already acquired it. Now it is executing here. Okay, and then L dot unlock is there. So it is somewhere here. So it will be executing. And then what happens? So till here you have to wait because it is locked and it is not locked, is not acquired by this T1 but by T2. So it will be waiting here for the notification that comes with unlock. Okay. So now, but if T2 here, so if it is locked and it is locked by itself and here it again tries to call L dot lock. So it can take that lock because it is locked by lock thread is itself. So it will be locked again. Lock count will now become two. Okay. And locked by thread will remain again this T2 itself. Okay. So this is the idea here. And then what happens? Let's see. So unlock what you need to do. So if that thread current thread is the thread which had logged. So logged count will become decremented by one because now you are decrementing but you will only release the lock or unlock it only when that count has become zero. When that count has become zero then you make that boolean variable is logged false and notify. So let's just try to see this small example. So what we do here. So a thread let's say T1 acquired the lock okay L dot lock then again let's say it executed few lines again in some other method it acquired lock okay so now increment that lock count was here one now again here it became two again let's say from another method it calls there also it tries to acquire lock now thread that locked count becomes three now let's say it now leaves this function returns from here so l dot unlock it will call and now this locked count it sees that it is the unlock so is it called by the same thread that locked by thread so this will decrement the count it will become two now here again let's say it called n dot l dot unlock so it will become now one this in the main function from where method from where it called it will call l dot unlock now this will become zero and when this unlock is called locked count is zero now is locked will become false and it will be notified so now another thread t2 can take the lock so this is the basic idea now let's see if this problem is gone off inside enter method so there was a deadlock so now in that okay re-entrant code so what we will do is we will take my r lock re-entrant lock we will do we will remove this lock okay so now we are using my r lock so here you see it enters first time it enters this code and it acquires lock then again it calls re-enter okay so it, after re-enter it goes here again tries to acquire lock so now lock count will become two and it can take it because it's the same thread that has acquired lock now it unlocks it so that thread lock count will become one then it comes here after re-enter has finished lock dot unlock now that count will become zero and it is unlocked so that will happen now we try to compile this and run this code okay so let's try to see so we have used my lock we run this and we get so inside enter method so trying to acquire lock it got it inside enter method got the main lock okay in and inside re-enter now it goes acquire trying to acquire lock inside re-enter it has acquired lock now because it was the same th thread that was trying to acquire lock so your re-entrance has become true and successful and now it unlocked it so still that boolean variable has not become false okay so when that count becomes zero so that lock is unlocked so i hope you understand this thanks a lot